Now, that's something that you see when you turn on TV, but I turned on the internet today, and I saw this video. Police shoot dog defending owner as cops arrest him for what? Filming the police. Now, you can see it right here. This is the gentleman. He was filming the police with his phone. Now he's putting his, uh, the dog in the car. And this is the police. They've arrested the man, put handcuffs on him. You can see the dog leaps out of the car, uh, approaches the police. And now you can see the police. In just one second, they're going to draw down on the dog. And let's see. Let's watch here. Okay, now they've opened fire on the dog. The dog is hit. The dog is whirling around on the ground. And it's a, it's a very graphic video, and I should have warned you of that beforehand. And we took out the audio because there's a lot of profanity and uh, music in the background. But you can go to Infowars.com, and you can, hear, you can hear the gunshots when this dog is shot. You can hear the dog screaming and uh, see it wiggling in pain. And, uh, you know, the police are, I'm sure, going to say it's justified because the dog jumped out and approached them in an aggressive manner, which the dog did. But the dog approached them in an aggressive manner, be, uh, manner because they arrested its owner for doing something uh, that was filming the police, which is completely not illegal, uh, very much legal. So they did a wrong action, was approached by the dog. And now they're going to say, well, we had to shoot the dog because the dog attacked us for doing something that we shouldn't have been doing. And we see this more and more. We've seen it here in Austin, as a matter of fact. Austin, Texas police shoot dog dead, forced to undergo new training practices. You can see the dog right there. I think its name is Cisco. So this was a situation. An officer responds to a domestic abuse situation, uh, sees a man in the front yard playing with the dog. They, the officer immediately draws down on the man. Hey, guy, put your hands up in the air. The guy's like, I don't know what's going on. So the dog comes running, uh, approaches the officer, uh, supposedly in an aggressive member, manner. That could be uh, the case. But the dog approaches the officer, the officer draws down, shoots the dog, and now uh, at this point, after the officer shoots the dog, now the guy was like, what are you guys doing here? You know, he's like that at first, but then the officer's like, hold on, like, uh, do you have a girlfriend? The guy's like, I, I live here by myself with my dog. Well, I guess he lives there by himself now because they shot the dog. And he's like, and, and the officer's like, I'm responding to a domestic situation. He's like, the only people who live here are me and my dog. And the officer goes, oh. And actually, if you go and watch that video on Infowars.com, you can see the officer shrug his shoulders. We're not going to show it right now for the sake of time. And the officer just kind of walks up like, oh, well, you know, I didn't, I'm sorry. I, I. The guy, the officer showed up at the wrong house. Let me help you out. The officer showed up at the wrong house, shot the guy's dog, walked off. And now they're saying, according to the Austin American Statesman, that Officer Griffin, that was the officer in the, in the video, received no discipline. So re received no discipline, walks up, shoots the guy's dog at the wrong address at the wrong address, walks off and uh, receives no discipline. That's what's going on. That's what's rotten in the city of Austin, Texas, and not just here. Also in the, uh, the previous article that we saw, there's a lot of police brutality, and it's not just limited to tasing people with seizures and so forth. We've shown you those videos as well. But they're shooting dogs for really no reason. Now, we're going to end tonight with this. School bans T-Boeing-style post-game prayer following ACLU complaint. Now, for those, oh, let's, let's, let's come back to me for one second. I want to just talk to people. T-bowing is the act of getting down on one knee, and some people say they pray, and, you know, T-bow prays or whatever, and that's his business. That's perfectly fine. I, when I was in high school, and I do believe I'm older than T-bow, uh, we got down on our knees just because Coach said, get down on the knee. That's how we had meetings. Everybody would rush in, and Coach said, take a knee. You get down on one knee. It's not necessarily praying. It's, we definitely didn't call it T-bowing or anything else. This is a situation, this was in Michigan, where the players had a, a post-game prayer. You know, they get together and they get down on one knee, take a knee, and they would pray. And the ACLU had a problem with this because they said, we should have a separation of church and state. Now, you can argue that coaches and teachers and people like that shouldn't lead students in prayer, and if that's your argument, fine. But the, the prayer was started, at least initially, decades ago, as the article points out, about a decade ago, by a student. So a student said, you know, about 10 years or so ago, he said, hey, let's all get together, take a knee. You know, this is before Tebow. They said, let's take a knee and pray. And, you know, it's all well and good if a student doesn't. A student does it, but if a faculty member or whoever else does it, then that's a big deal. So, fine. If you don't want your faculty or anybody else doing it, but if it comes down to it, if the, the, just the students themselves want to bow down, take a knee and pray or do whatever, that's their business. Do not infringe on the rights of the individual students.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.